anything. <laughs> that is brilliant. Everybody, welcome to AG Conf London in 2018. Yay! <laughs> and um, <laughs> thank you very much for coming. Is this on? Yeah, all right. Um, this is pretty amazing, especially when you think that four years ago, AG Grid didn't exist at all. Um, four years ago, I was working in RBS in London. And I had a job, just like most of you guys, trying to write HTML5 applications in finance. And um, there wasn't a grid out there that suited my needs, and that's what then led to the AG Grid project starting. It started over Christmas at the start of 2015. And then for the rest of that year, I continued working in RBS, and I was continuing to build out AG Grid in my evenings and my weekends. By the end of 2015, which is the first year, and I'm still working on this part-time, Six and a half thousand people were downloading AG Grid every month. Like six and a half thousand people, that's a lot. Like how big is six and a half thousand people? Well, there's just over 100 people in the room here. So six and a half, well, it's like 65 times the number of people here. That to me sounded like a big number until we compare it to what's happening today. So today there's a quarter of a million downloads of the community version of AG Grid every month. And to me, it is absolutely bananas. And then, of course, we have the enterprise version, where we get money, and that helps pay our salaries. And we're approaching 2,000 customers. That's not individual developers. These are businesses who are using AG Grid Enterprise today. Um, if you Google the top 10 investment banks in the world, we're selling to all of them. If you look at the Fortune 500, we're in a quarter of them. And we have a big focus on fintech as well. Um, just a quick show of hands. Who here works in, in fintech and finance? Yeah, almost everyone except maybe 10 or 15 percent which being london that's uh, that's not surprising um so with this growth we're also growing the company and um well at the start it was just me sorry i forgot to say to start my name is noel crosby i'm the founder of ag grid um at the start it was just me but then as soon as we started getting customers we needed to build a company you can't just be one guy with a pet project trying to you know take over the world in the way that we we're trying to do um so right now we've got um 15 people working full-time on AG Grid in our offices in London Bridge. And uh, we're also getting known, we're, we're going around. Um, we do lots of conferences all around the world, from Angular Connect in London, um, NG Conf, uh, we did Microsoft Build this year. Uh, we speak and we sponsor these conferences. And then next year, we're going to be the premier sponsor for NG Vikings, that's the, the top tier sponsor. And we've also just been accepted as the premier sponsor for NGConf. So that's NGConf last year, that big picture. Um, just to go back there, we're going to be the premier sponsor for NGConf. That means that the organizers of NGConf thought our brand was good enough for them to associate as their top sponsor, which is the biggest Angular conference in the world. So to me, that's a big achievement that people see us to be you know, good enough to have our brand used in that way. Um, we're also going to continue supporting all of the frameworks. Um, we started off with just Angular, but then we went to follow all the other frameworks after that. Um, and we want to be around, um, well, for a long time. Um, frameworks come and go. Uh, we want to be around for, more, for much longer than that. And this is our, our mantra. We want to be the best grid in the world. Um, when I started AG Grid, uh, I was a, an Angular developer, and it was AngularJS, so Angular version 1 back then. And there was another grid called UI Grid that some of you might have used. And uh, UI Grid, I thought, wasn't good enough, so I created AG Grid. And then Angular 2 came along, and I set a goal for myself. I wanted AG Grid to be the de facto grid for Angular 2. So if you're writing an application in Angular 2, you'd automatically want to use AG Grid, like UI Grid did back for um, Angular 1. And towards the end of 2015, that was achieved. We actually had become the de facto grid for Angular. And um, I was pretty happy. And I was at home in my parents' house back in Ireland over Christmas again, and I was watching TV. And this motivational advert came on. And uh, the guy uh, giving the voiceover said, if your dreams aren't big enough, sorry, if your dreams don't scare you, you're not dreaming big enough. And I realized that my dream of being the best grid had been achieved, and it didn't scare me. I was getting a bit too comfortable. 
So then I thought, you know what, screw Angular, let's just take over the world. Let's just do all the frameworks and try and become the de facto grid across all the frameworks in JavaScript. And that's where this mantra came from. So um, I think we've almost achieved that. I think we should change that to do something even bigger and better. Um, but yeah, that's where it came from. And when I say the best grid, what do I mean by that? Well, the other grids, they're pretty grids, but they don't really do a lot like the stuff that we do. So the kind of the features that we have, like doing grouping, aggregation, pivoting, and the tool panels, are just not done by the other grids. Like there's no other JavaScript grid which will allow you to pivot as part of the main grid. So some competitors will have a pivot grid that won't do anything else, and then they'll do all their sorting and filtering in a different grid. We're the only one that actually combines pivoting with all these other functions. Um, we're also the only data grid that's got the type of server-side operations that we allow. Uh, server-side operations like sorting, filtering, grouping, and pivoting. There's no other grid that does that. And that's something we're quite proud of, and that's going to be the topic of one of the talks later, given by Rob, which is looking at the server-side row model. And also supporting all of the frameworks. That's, again, something which no other grid actually does. Now, some other grids, you can wrap them to work in a different framework. But what we do is we allow you to choose the framework to then customize the grid. So if you want to create a cell renderer in Angular, you can. And do a cell renderer or a filter in React, you can. There's no other grid that allows the plug in the frameworks inside the grid. Um, the support of the frameworks, that's really important to us as well. And that's going to be the topic for Sean's talk, which is just coming up first in our su how we support the frameworks. And then how we do everything, how like we manage to build a grid with all these features, that's going to be the topic of um, my talk later this in the first half as well. So this is the, um, the AG Grid Conf team. <laughs> We're all embarrassed over pictures. Sean says he doesn't look well. I agree with him, he doesn't. Um, so yeah, I'm the founder, Niall, Sean, the frameworks guy, Rob, the enterprise applications guru. And then in the bottom here, we've got Ashley, Dimo, and Alex. So if you have any kind of business-related questions or license questions, please grab them during one of the breaks or afterwards. Um, all of the talks, the PowerPoint packs, will be available online at that URL. Not just yet, because we did some last, finished, uh, last minute touches to them. And um, here's the schedule. So basically, um, it's nearly 10 past 3. I'll hand over to Sean. He'll talk for a while. Then I'll talk for a while on complexity and performance. Then we'll have a break. Then we'll come back. Then Rob will talk for a while. And then I'll talk for a while. That's pretty much it. This is what was on the website. And then there's some food and drinks outside. And we have this venue till about 8 o'clock, I believe, um, so we can stick around here and network. OK, and that's it. So um, there was a time when. <laughs> 